I literally just made a 10 minute rant about why trading Patrick Liney is the stupidest possible decision the Winnipeg Jets could ever freaking do in their existence. And what, lo and behold, I'm sitting on my computer, watching some YouTube videos, and what do you know? Report from the score from uh, who, Darren Dreger of TSN. The Winnipeg Jets are serious about potential line A trade. And then he goes in depth about how they're insanely serious and about how Kevin Shoveldayev knows he needs to get a second line center. He knows what his needs are. And he can't rely solely on free agency or the draft. So a trade is the only option. And then he goes on to say the Columbus Blue Jackets and the Carolina Hurricanes are the two teams to express the most interest recently for Patrick Line. And then he goes on to talk a little bit about Patrick Line's stats and whatnot. But that doesn't really matter because we all know how good Patrick Line really is. This is, without a doubt, a joke. It has to be a fucking joke. Like, like, this is borderline, like, if Kev- Shevel Dayoff does this, he should be fucking fired. I don't care. Like, this is bullshit at this point. You're going to trade Patrick Laine to bring in a second line center from either Columbus or freaking Carolina? That's going to be your, that's going to be what makes us a contender, right? We're going to give up a generational talent in Patrick Laine for a second-line center under contract for maybe three, four years, sign to a bloated extension, let him age out like uh, Brian Little, Blake Wheeler have, and we'll see what happens. Hmm, is that what we're going to do? We're going to trade a first and restock our cabinet because we need a we need a late first-round pick from the Carolina Hurricanes to really solidify our prospect pool because we totally don't have enough prospects to really fill the system. We totally don't have enough cap to go out and sign players that are actually meaningful to help our team. We don't have prospects that are going to come up and fill some Roles, right? Because we are a crap team that have been built horribly that we need to trade our young talent in a position where we are almost ready to be a cup contender again because we need a second line center. This is a freaking, like, I'm done with it. I am so done with this. If Kevin Cheveldayoff and the Winnipeg Jets organization actually go through with something as asinine as trading Patrick Laine for a second line center because that's what the team needs and we can't rely on drafting and free agency because trading our generational winger is what we need to do, this is a joke. Like, like, this is an actual joke. Do they actually think that any player out of Carolina or other than Columbus is going to fucking make a difference? And then before you say anything about, oh, you know, Pierre-Luc Dubois is a great center, do you actually think that the Columbus Blue Jackets are going to trade Pierre-Luc Dubois? No, they're not. He, especially after the playoff run they had. I don't care if Patrick Laine is, if you think Patrick Laine is better than Ovechkin. I don't care if that's what their management thinks. They're not going to do that. Looking, look, look at their center core right now. Like, it's a joke. Brendan Dubinsky, that's going to be our second line center. Alexander Wenberg, hmm? What, like, Riley Nash, Oliver Borkstrand, hmm? These guys, like what? We're going to trade for one of these guys? Make Mikhail Grigorenko, hmm? Is that going to be our second line center on a 1.2D? Like, what, what, what do they think, hmm? Look, what, what type of players do they think are really going to make that much of a fucking difference? The Winnipeg Jets, like what? We're going to take Brendan Dubinsky on a fight? Like, what? Like, come on. Wenberg? This is a joke. Like, like. I don't care if they, they'd have to get fucking Pierre-Luc Dubois and they're going to have to get Cam Atkinson to make this trade fucking worth it. I want Seth Jones. You're going to, none of these guys are going to make us better. I'm sorry. I'd rather have Brian Little being half injured and being 30 plus years old than have any of these guys on my fucking team and giving up line A. Are you kidding me? Andrew Kopp would be a better fit than any of these guys and we don't have to trade anybody for him. This is a joke. And what? The Carolina Hurricanes? are going to be the next team that we're going to go after and let make make a move for because they've got so many good centers. What, we're going to go get Sebastian Ajo from them because that's going to happen. Or what, we're going to go get 32-year-old Jordan Stahl and that's going to become our second-line center for the next few years, right? Because we're going to pay him a $6 million at 32 years old. That sounds like a great move. Let's go get Vincent Trocek from the, Car- from the Carolina Hurricanes at only two more years on his contract and then let's sign him to a bloated contract because he's 27 years old and he's not that great of a player anymore. Now I like Vincent Trocek, but you're telling me you're going to trade Patrick Laine for Vincent Trocek and a first? You think that's worth it? You think that's going to make the big difference on your team? Are you stupid? I'm sorry, but the, none of these guys are going to make a meaningful impact for the Winnipeg Jets swapping out line A. And even if, what, you get a first form and some other prospects, wow, whoop de freaking do Like, that's what you think is going to solve your team and make you better? Like, I can't believe... Like, you're not getting Aho, and you're not getting Pierre-Luc Dubois for, for Patrick Line. Like, they're not giving those guys up, and even if they wanted to give those guys up, in my opinion, those guys are more valuable than line A to their teams already, respectively. You know, you're not going to trade a 23-year-old Sebastian Ajo. You're not going to trade a freaking 22-year-old Pierre-Luc Dubois, I don't know, who's an RFA this year, unless he's not signing in Columbus, and it's like, that's like we something we don't realize yet. What? Like, come on. 
This is a joke. Like, none of the, like, the, the, like, if, if, they even, if Darren Drager is being absolutely, like, serious, and that those are the two teams to inquire, and Sheville Dayoff is really, really, really listening now because these two teams have something amazing to offer him, it better be something as good as a return as a Pierre-Luc Dubois or a freaking um, uh, Sebastian Ajo. I'm sorry, but it has to be. Or, like, if you're, if you're getting Jordan Stahl and, like, Tivu Teravainen or something like that and a first for Patrick Laine, like, I'm sorry, but Jordan Stahl is not going to be the, what's going to put us over the top. I'm sorry, it's not. Especially at 32 years old, aging we're gonna bring in more veterans when we already have veterans we're paying that we don't even want on the team like brian little and blake wheeler like those contracts are massive and they're old we're gonna bring in another guy who's 32 that's making six million dollars for the next three years that's what the direction of this team is gonna be this is a joke like this is an absolute joke I don't want to keep making these videos talking about patrick liney because i've already made my my feelings very very well documented in that one rant I said it was stupid, I talked about why it doesn't make any sense, why we already have an amazing top six cat locked up that's young, that plays well together, why not go out and try to get some pieces in free agency? If you really, Shevel Dayoff must have no fucking faith in his camp, or in the city, or in his management, or his team, or direction, or anything, if he thinks that he can't go out and get any free agents with the amount of cap that he has, can he spend a little bit more? Fucking absolutely he can, is it dumb? Maybe, but the point is, is that he is in a situation where he actually can go, he must be so broken from Paul Stastny choosing Vegas that he has no faith in signing any type of players in free agency, and that's a joke. I know Winnipeg has not been a hotbed for free agency in the past, but you know what? Enough is a fucking enough. If you want to win a championship, which should be any professional athlete's goal, not to make millions of dollars and be mediocre and have no legacy, then it shouldn't matter how where you sign for two or three years and try to win, especially if the money is fair. And I'm tired of hearing that as a rumor. I really, really, really am. So... We're going to be done with talking about this line A stuff because it's not going to happen. And if it does happen, it is the most stupidest thing I've ever heard of. There is not a single... I, I, like, I'm sorry, but like you have to be getting that top talent from Carolina or from Columbus if that is what the two teams have expressed the most interest in line A recently from Pierre Lebrun. Like, come on. Like, are you kidding me? Like, well, like what? I'm sorry, but I'm looking at this. Unless you're getting your top prospects and you're getting picked, like, like what, like what? I don't see this, the the solution to our second line center. I'm sorry, but I don't. None of the guys that are, are on these teams that are in center positions are on significant contracts, other than Alex Wenberg on Columbus, who was signed up for three years, and then if you go over to maybe Jordan Stahl or Sebastian Ajo, that's about it. And they have Vinny Trocheck for two years. But what we're gonna bring in Vinny Trocheck? Like that'd be nice, but. Like, come on, we already had a chance to bring in Mark Stone, and we didn't want to pay him more than Wheeler because that's the direction of the team management. Like, this is a joke. I'm done with this. I'm really, really getting frustrated with this. The Winnipeg Jets are a very, very good position right now to be competitive. A lot of fans might not agree with that, but I think they are. I think I like that with their prospect pieces, the cap, and what they already have signed, I think they are very close to being that team we saw in 2018 again. I really, really, really do believe that. And I'm Maybe I'm a homer. Call me that in the comments. I don't care. I really don't. But if you actually think that this is a good move long-term for the Winnipeg Jets and trading Patrick Line for any of these guys, that I've talked about because it's not. I'm sorry, Jordan Stahl is not the answer. He's not. Vincent Trocek could be a good player for us. Absolutely. I like Vincent Trocek. But let me ask you this. Let me show you his let me tell you his stats. Hmm? Vincent Trocek, his best year was 75 points in 2017-18. And now the last two years has been 34 points, 36 points, and two points. Like, come on. I'm sorry, but come on. He's not the answer. And even if Vinny Trocek does have another 75-point season in him with a good top six, he's not going to get that with trading Liney and bringing in some m mediocre winger to play with Ehlers. This is not the answer to fixing our team. And even if you don't think Mikel Grunland or you think any other trade options are, maybe you, like, like, this is just not. This is, this is, this is, this is it. Like, I can't. I don't want to keep making videos on him, and I didn't even want to make this video because it's just another rant. But, like, this is actual news. Like, when I have to turn on my phone and see actual serious reporters about talking about trading lining and how it's close, how they're, like, they need a number line, two second line center, they want to bolster their blue line, they're going to trade a young asset to do that? Are you retarded? Pardon my language. Seriously, but, like, come on. This is a joke. Like, this is an absolute joke and a travesty to the organization, and sh every single person who works for the Jets management and is in charge of handling this type of stuff and looking at trades, Shevel Dayoff, Mark Chipman, Paul Maurice, I don't give a crap, you were all 
mediocre, and terrible, terrible, terrible management st staff if you go through with something like this. And you should be fired for it. You are a disgrace to the NHL if you do something like this by trading young talent and thinking that this is the right way to lead an NHL team into the future. It is a joke. I'm sorry, but this is this is it. This is it. Like the other video was talking about why it's stupid and why the whole rumors are stupid, but this is fact. Like this is an actual article coming out and saying like it's very possible that he has moved within a week. Like that's how they like, they made it word or where they're wording it. That is just dumb. I'm done with this. I'm done with the rumors. If this happens, I seriously am going to question any, any, I'm not going to, I'm like, I'm going to become the most cynical Jets fan here, and I used to be the most optimistic Jets fan, because I was, the, like, I'm just done, end of the rant, I'm done talking about it, let me know your thoughts, guys, in the comment section down below, if you're new to the channel, and you're a Jets fan, a hockey fan, regardless of what team you root for, definitely consider dropping a subscription, we are so close to 200 subs, thank you guys for all the support, uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below, this is the stupidest things I've ever read, and it better be over soon.